And anybody that wants a new life or a better life or go to another level, this is the code. If, if you just take this one video, right, like everything we talked about, like this would be like how to change your life forever. I just want to stay that, stay mad shit on my shoulder because they treat me like an outcast. I ain't going to take that, stay back. I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps. Okay. Anything that you wanted in life, you could have if you really wanted it. If you want to be 20 pounds heavier right now and have more muscle, you could have it if you really wanted it, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, but you're just not really interested in it right now. If you wanted it, you could have it. Mm. If you wanted to have $10 million and that was like what you really wanted, well, you couldn't sleep until you had it and you would eventually end up getting it. So I just learned that like whatever you want, you'll get. So our goal is I'm obviously older, you're younger, right? I want to teach the guys coming up or the girls that, that are coming up that are younger that they can have it all. Mm. You got to have a good relationship with somebody because your home life will directly affect your business life. Yeah. So you got to you got to do you know life with somebody, and then also you got to look in the mirror and like who you are. Okay, a lot of people right now they're mentally broke. A lot of people getting broke here, right. so that's why physical fitness is so important to us, dude. I have a fitness company and I built one because I used to train people up to be savages. Here's how to handle sales. Here's how to handle leadership. Here's how to handle speaking. But then they wouldn't get in shape and they'd break back and go to day one. Mm. So we opened a fitness program. We, we started learning all this shit. So we get in front of people. So my number one deal is total recreation. It's physical, mental business. They say I'm a sales trainer, but that's just a label. We're really a life coach company. What we do is that we take people, we make sure when they look in the mirror, they like who they are. We're making sure that they're growing their family at home. We're making sure that they're getting close to God if that's important to them. We're making sure that they're building a badass fucking team. We have an army, a massive army. And we're making sure that whatever it is they're doing, whatever that industry is, they become the top 1% in their industry. Yeah. So it's just like, we just want people to get it all. So yeah. our, my number one deal is that like, if I spend time with you, like I'm gonna make sure that we're gonna make sure that you get it all. Mm. Those are the people that I wanna lead, man. A lot of people are one dimensional. They're getting a little bit of something, but dude, a lot of them are miserable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, because if you chase this, if you do get it and lose all this, you're gonna hate yourself. Well, dude, you don't have to sacrifice. You're young. Dude, my leaders were like, dude, you can't get everything. Choose one thing you want, and that's what you get. I call bullshit, man. You don't have to give up your family. You don't have to give up your health. You don't have to give up liking yourself. You don't have to give up any of this shit. You can get all that stuff if you want it. So whatever you want, you can get. So our, our biggest goal is total recreation. A lot of people aren't who they, who they want to be, and they're not where they want to be. So we totally recreate them, bro. I mean, I brainwash people, man, to literally believe in themselves. Yeah, like seriously, like, like the news brainwashes people to be afraid and scared, and I brainwash people to feel powerful. Yeah, I love you mentioned having a good home life because that's something a lot of entrepreneurs neglect. They don't really think about it. Yeah, and by the way, look, dude, you don't have business problems. You have home problems. I'm gonna tell you something, dude. Here's what's so crazy. Uh, three years, our company built a nine-figure business, okay? When I, at 39 years old, I'm 44, but at 39 years old, I go home and success to me was making money. You're like, hey man, let's make some money. Guys, I want to tell you something. If you're chasing money right now and you get it, but you go home and your family's learned to live without you, okay? I'm, I'm just being for real. And you look in the mirror, you don't like who you are. Maybe, maybe you've put on 40 or 50 pounds because you've been on this journey to make money and you look in the mirror and you're like, this is a fucking alien's body. What, 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 what is this? <laughs> like, I didn't imagine getting the money and then looking in the mirror and seeing what I see now. Like, this isn't, this isn't what I wanted. Dude, envision right now, what do you want? When you do get the money, what do you wanna look like? Do you wanna be ripped? Do you wanna be healthy? Do you wanna have a good life? Do you want your marriage on fire? Do you want you and your girlfriend to be fucking close? Do you want people to look up to you? Do you wanna be the example for other people? Dude, this isn't about you even getting the shit you want. This is about you showing other people that you're going to go on a journey to get it and you're also gonna get all this other shit that everybody else wants. You wanna be the ultimate example for other people. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's called purpose, man. Dude, if you get money and you don't have purpose and you're unfulfilled, you're fucked. Mm. You're still broke. Yeah. Like, so our goal is because I'm older and I've been through it and I've been burned and I've made the mistakes. I'm like, dude, you don't have to do all that stuff. Don't lose yourself along the way. Don't lose your health along the way. Make sure you take your family with you. Dude, when your family supports you, it's amazing. I don't know if you're with somebody, but I'm going to tell you this. You could go make X amount of money per month and you could go home and your girl could say, hey, babe, I'm really proud of you. Mm. The person you've become, the man you've become this last month, in, insane. Best thing, best thing in my life. Thank you for doing that. You've inspired me to want to reach for more. And you reminded me what a fucking great man looks like. Mm. Dude, you're like, that was way better than the money. Like, that's it. So all I want from my kids, dad, you're our hero. Mm -hmm. 
My wife, I admire you, and it's just crazy how you keep growing. That shit overrides all the money and helping other people. Now, if you can start doing that stuff and do it at a really high level, because most of the world isn't, you're going to make more money than you know what to fucking do with. Yeah. It's stupid. So that's the code. And that's where you're at now. You're helping tens of thousands of people learn sales and you've been able to grow the biggest sales training company in the world. Yeah, so we have 500,000 people actively training on our wow. program, individuals. 500,000. We have over 11,000 companies on our platform. And, and those are companies, those are people with the team. If you were to say, Andy, what's your greatest skill? Building teams. Mm. And by, by the way, building fucking teams and building leaders, because teams don't get built without leaders. Okay, there's three levels of leadership. You got self-leadership, which means if you can't lead yourself, you're not gonna lead anybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing is, is that we attack the leader and they need to be, they can't give what they don't have. Nobody can, they can't tell their team to become something they're not. Okay, so we, we're hard on leaders about becoming the example. And then you gotta build other leaders. And then those leaders will follow you. And by the way, followers follow a leader voluntarily, not because of money, but because they wanna be like them. Mm -hmm because they found value from it. But hey, it is 2024 almost. We're in the era of the influencer, okay? Most of the bosses, most of the, the managers, whatever you call titles, you go in and you ask those people, hey, write down a piece of paper. Who are your mentors? Who do you look up for? They don't write his fucking name down, right? Yeah. They're not looking up to him. Why? He's not the leader, mm. okay? So it, your goal as a leader, if you wanna build a bad business or something amazing have your team look up to you and want to be with you regardless of money not even being involved hey guys what's going on it's andy a lot of you leave comments tell me that you need help do me a favor i'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me shoot me a text message right now 918-210-0254 918-210-0254 i'll help you with whatever you need i got your back for life let's get back to the video because they want to be like you now the third level is building leaders that create more leaders. Like if I was leading you, my goal isn't to have you follow me. My goal is to create you to be the greatest leader ever, to also be the example for the other people and make them leaders. Right. And now you want what I have and you, what I've made with you, I teach you to do with them. Now you have the ultimate army. Yeah. And that's what we built in our company, dude. And we built it very fast. And we're in an era right now, young men, young women, older people, they all want it. Everybody wants to find their place. They want to find their leader. They want to find someone that's going to push them to greatness. And I call this positive peer pressure. If you'll notice, I, I really press on people a lot. And the reason why I do it is because I positively peer pressure them to become who they were supposed to be. And everybody else has let them fucking slide and I'm not going to let them slide. Why? Because they have been praying for someone to hold them accountable to their potential. Now that you've met it, now we're going to go get it. It's dark, it's uncomfortable, the truth sucks, but it's the only way to grow. Mm -hmm. And so like this little formula that I'm kind of telling you about, it's the truth, man. Yep. And anybody that wants a new life or a better life or go to another level, this is the code. Okay, so you gotta become this, you live it, and then you teach it to others, dude. Yeah. And this is how we change, dude, listen, hey, I know this sounds kind of corny and cliche, but like we wanna change the fucking world, dude. We wanna change people's lives. And I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna happen, through influencers. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next 10 years, people don't watch fucking news anymore. No. Okay, they don't care. People that have agendas on the news tell people, they don't care anymore. You know what they want? They want people like us, people who are real influencers, people who aren't afraid of failure. Dude, I fell all the time and I fell in front of my people. I say, God, man, <laughs> hey, you wanna know something that's cool and refreshing? Watch me fail, but then watch me go fuck some shit up tomorrow. Mm. Like, like, watch this happen, okay? That's refreshing. That's good. People like that shit. They wanna see real shit. Right. And that's why the next 10 years, we're in the era of the influencer, and it's not as easy as it used to be. Dude, in, in 2020, when I first started my business, you know, dude, like everybody could be an influencer. If you had a video editor, right, and somebody could just, you could shoot content, and then the words came up, little bubbles and emojis and all this shit. Like, you're an influencer, yeah, yeah. right? And people didn't know if you had money, you could go rent a Lamborghini. They fucking know now. They know. They know now. So you can't get in unless you're the realest of the realest of the realest. So all these people that are trying to get in, look, if you want to be a big influencer, it's one simple deal. You have to be a leader. 
and leaders are influential. And if you're not a leader, you can't fake it. So we don't care what kind of cars you have. We don't care what kind of house you have. We don't care if you watch Andy Frizzell's podcast and then go say everything that he said on your deal. We don't care about that. What we care about is who the fuck are you? And the eyes are the window to the soul. And you can see in people's eyes whether they're telling the truth and they're really living that life or they're not. And I'm going to tell you the biggest thing right now, and then you can go into whatever you want. But most people, and I mean 99% of them, aren't who they fucking say they are. Mm. They, they tell everyone, they, they get on social media, they're doing all this shit, but they're not really that fucking way. Right. They're not that way. They're not living to that standard. They don't hold themselves to that accountable. Dude, I want to tell you something. I'm going to fucking die living what I preach. And that's why we're blowing up. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a sales trainer. Yeah, I fucking love sales. Yeah, I'll close anybody's ass on a mm -hmm. deal. But, but I'm closed on the, the right way to live. And you know how I know the right way to live? Because I've lived the, the wrong way for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you have, to, you have to touch a stove to know that that's bad. Right. You have to be fucking dead to know that being awake is alive. And I see a lot of people that are alive that really aren't living. Right. I see it everywhere, okay? Hey, by the way, everybody's asleep. So if you ever want to be, this is an error that we're in right now for the real fucking killers to wake up. Hey, by the way, maybe you're not even a killer now, but you want to be one, now's your time. Mm -hmm. Now's your time to get serious. Now's your time to get in the gym. Now's your time to start eating right. Now's your time to start self-developing. The greatest advice I could give anybody is out fucking self-develop everyone. Mm -hmm. Become obsessed, a freak. Know this, this is a fact. Everybody's going to slow down at some point. They're gonna slow down, okay? They're gonna get, they have a standard. They have a certain amount of money they wanna make. They have a certain place they wanna be. They have a certain car they wanna get to. And as they get closer to that, as they start to hit that, they're gonna slow down. And they're gonna stop reading books and they're gonna stop learning and they're gonna stop paying for events and they're gonna stop paying people to, to learn. They're gonna stop pursuing greatness. And then you beat their asses. <laughs> and all of them, you'll smoke them. This is how you do it, dude. I love that. Yeah. Touching back on leadership real quick, and then we'll move on. Uh, the team you've built, I got to meet them at Salt Lake in Utah uh -huh. at Limitless. I was so impressed, man. It was the best company culture I've ever seen. Their energy was infectious. Yeah. How did you build that company culture to get to that point? Well, the team can't have something the leader doesn't have. Okay, so I first had to create what I wanted them to have. So that's step one. So whatever you want your team to be, my question is, are you that? And if you're not that, they can't beat either, okay? You've seen my intensity, you've seen my passion, you've seen my drive, you've seen the way I, I feel like this world, whatever, however much energy you dump into someone and in this world, you get the fucking same return back, okay? So we're just screaming through our, 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 our hearts to, to change people's lives and then we're just getting that back, okay? Um, but a big deal is you said you met my team. I believe this, an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. I am no one. I am no one. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm an influencer, but I'm, I'm, I'm a businessman. But without a team, I have no business. I have nothing. I have nothing without my team. My team is everything. Me and my wife knew from day one that if we were going to build anything special, the way to the Achilles heel to attack the competition, to roll in the Trojan horse, to fucking take them out, all of them, anybody in our niche, in our industry, all of them, would be to out self develop them in leadership and by building a team that no one else in the world could have. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I train people to have teams. So people say, Andy, what's the difference between you and Grant Cardone or this guy or this guy? I say, simple, dude, come look at my team. Mm -hmm. Come check out my team. Don't even ask me. Come check out my team. Mm -hmm. And once you see my team, you're going to say, how much can I buy your team for? My team's not for sale. My team actually doesn't even work for money. They're an unrecruitable team. Why? Because they work for passion, for drive, and for purpose. Because the leader fucking stands for something that's fucking important to them. Wow. Okay? Now, if, if anybody watching this was like, well, man, that sounds intense. Yeah, it fucking is. Okay? I live an intense life. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to be around me. But I want a big life. I don't want to play small. I don't want anything in common. I don't, I don't have anything in common with people that want a small life. I love you. I hope one day you'll wake up. But I'm just telling you, dude, like, I want to win. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I hate fucking losing. But you got to have a team to win, though. So you said you met the team. Here's what I'll tell you. It's called onboarding. When I meet somebody, the way that we onboard somebody, if you'll notice, our team, they give you a handshake. They show you they love you. They give you a hug. Hey, what's going on? They make you fucking feel good. Yep. Is that good? Do we need more of that in the world? Yeah. yeah. So they're becoming what they want other people to be, but other people can't become it if they don't see it on my team. They got it from the leader. Now they got it. Now they're giving it to their clients. And that's why we're growing so big. But I'll tell you that if you want the greatest team in the history of time, there has to be more than money. Mm -hmm. Employees will work for a paycheck. 
Okay, but if they don't want to be you, if they don't want to be like you, if they don't want to have what you have, and that's why the leader must create such an amazing life, such good relationships with everybody. That everybody's like, man, dude, like, 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 I just want that. Like, it's so infectious. Like, I just want to live like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, that's what I want. And, and that's what I'm teaching my team to do. And by the way, listen, man, my team are underdogs. So I hear a lot of people say, got to recruit top talent. No, dude. Recruiting top talent means that you're going to pay somebody that's done a really good job, pull them from a company and pay them more money. Mm -hmm. Dude, someone is going to fucking offer them more money one day too, and they're going to leave. Because yeah. it was all about money. Mm -hmm. So when you're paying to recruit top talent, you're an idiot. You're always chasing people that are never going to be loyal to you or your mission or your company, but they're always loyal to the check. And they're trained that way. Yeah. Okay? You, you got to build something that's deeper than that. And I've learned this, okay? underdogs so i'm an underdog a massive underdog mm. mom left when i was two five brothers and sisters jerry springer shit show was doing fucking lots of drugs in the seventh grade hey hey i'm not proud of any of that mm. but dude i wouldn't be who i am if i hadn't gone through it right. okay now, does it mean i want other people to go through it? no dude <laughs> but 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 i know though now the stupid shit that i've done and that people don't have to do any of that mm. i made bad grades i never paid attention do you know why because no one told me that you should learn you should grow at 18 years old, I got a job in sales. I made $1,700 my first day. I never had more than $5 in my hand my whole life. When you go from never having money to $1,700 one day, you're like, okay, wait a minute. What's the way? Well, number one, it was sales. Sales was my way out. So I got really good at sales. I knew I had to have a speaking coach. I knew I needed to have an image coach because I needed to look different. I knew I needed to have a sales coach. I wanted to be the fucking best. By 20, I'm making 500 grand a year. I'm changing my life. I'm on fire. It's running through my veins, but it's all about me. Then I start learning when I teach people, leadership kicks in and I'm like, bro, listen, it's not sales. It's sales and leadership. If you want to get rich, you learn sales and leadership and you'll be the richest motherfucker on planet earth. Mm -hmm. As long as you're real and you gotta care about other people. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Yeah, so like anyways, but, but building a team, man, like. Dude, an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Right. May the guy with the greatest team win. It's crazy to see this because you used to be an introvert and now you're amazing. Massive. At sales. I stuttered. I didn't even know how to speak and talk, but that's why self development's the key, dude. Like anything you're not good at right now, dude, I mean this. Like, like anything that you want. Remember, I said if you want, you could have it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I used to watch people speak and talk and I go, dude, I want to tell stories like that. You know, I used to watch, I'm just giving an example. I was young, but I cassette takes of Grant Cardone when I was 18 years old. I'm going back 25 years ago. And I was like, okay, dude, I need to memorize everything that he's saying. I need to say it the same way he's saying it. I need to be, have pattern interrupts the same way he's saying it. I need, I would write down word track. I would memorize a whole speech that he said word for word how he did it, which I'm not good at learning. But, but that's what I told myself. I was good at learning and I just needed to write shit down. I have a different way of learning. So I'd have spiral notebooks full of shit and I'd write them over and over and over again until I got it. Mm -hmm. And then dude, I just started to change the way I speak, the way I talked, the way I believed. Dude, I started to care about people, which I'm just gonna tell you in the beginning, you're like, yeah, let's go make some money, but you really don't care because you just want a new life. But then you're like, wait a minute, man. Like, dude, I need to care about people. The, the number one rule to sales is whoever cares most about the client, whether the client cares more about themselves or you care about the client more than they care about themselves, wins in the sale. When I'm sitting in front of you, I will out care you more than you care about yourself. I assure you. That means no matter what it is, if, if I have a fitness company and you come in, you're like, I don't know, Andy. You know, I, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I can, let me ask you a question, man. You know, like how, many, how much weight have you put on in the last year? Okay, none. Did you want to put some weight on? Did you want to put some muscle on? You've been going to the gym, right? You've been doing it on your own, right? You've been putting on the muscle that you want? No? Okay. Do we need to go two more years of you going to the gym and not putting on muscle before you come back to me and then we solve this problem? Hmm. Hey, you put on 30 pounds of fat this last year? Look, dude, now you want to change? You want to go back? You want to look great again? Let me ask you a question. Okay, cool. You want to say no today? You want to think about it? Do we need to go two more years? Maybe we need to wait two years mm -hmm. and come back 60 pounds heavier and then do something. Right. Look, dude, if you know what you want, do it. Yeah. Okay? It's your life. Own it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get in shape? Yep. Good. Nobody wants to go on this journey with you but me. I don't see anybody else around here wanting to go on this journey with you, <laughs> but I do. Okay, so is that what you really want? Because I'm willing to go on there with you. Absolutely. Okay, once you commit, I won't let you fail. Let's do this. Like that's closing, that's selling, it's common sense shit. Mm -hmm. 
And that's why we teach people to do really, and plus that's really me taking care of you. And I just told you the truth. Yeah. Okay, I always tell people, if you want a common sense close anybody, tell them the truth. So That's a big part of your brand, you know, always telling the truth. Yeah. Now what do you do in situations where the truth will really hurt that person? Well, the truth sucks. But give me an example of like hurting them, like hurting them like in a bad way or hurting them as in like I hurt their feelings. Yeah, I guess. Be because listen, if I was being a dick to my wife and you're like, hey dude, you're being a dick to your wife. I'd be like, dude, what do you mean? No, dude, like your wife, like you're being a dick to her. Okay, like if you want her to treat you good, you need to be good to her. Mm -hmm. That's how this works, man. You guys are gonna keep running down this road. You're gonna end up getting divorced. You're gonna look back, you're gonna regret it. Why the hell did you marry her anyways? Hey, there's an old saying that says, if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Mm. Okay, remember day one when y'all met, you were just dying to fucking take her to dinner, take her to lunch, on, impress her? Yeah, like, but like, come on, man. I mean, you used to skip heartbeats and shit. You used to have that crush. Yeah. Bro, that's the reason why you guys are fighting. Mm. You forgot about all that. You're taking that for granted, man. Is she uglier now? Is she not cool now? No, she's the same person, dude. You lost your perspective. Right. Go back and treat her like it was the beginning. I promise you, you guys will be back in love tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, like, like that's the truth, or, 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 or don't. Or I could just be like, oh man, I can't believe she's treating you that way. See, that's the world. Dude, if you had food on your face right now, would you want me to tell you? Yeah. I guarantee you this, do me a favor, put some food on your face and go walk around <laughs> and see how many people won't tell you. Most people won't. Yeah, no, I'll fucking tell you, dude, you got shit on your face, man. <laughs> like, 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 I want you to know that like I give a about you and as awkward as it as it is like I want to tell you so I can make you better or I can help you out right. like dude I want to be around people that don't walk on eggshells when they're around me right. I'm not better than you dude I have no title higher than you it doesn't matter how much money somebody has or what they have dude it's like dude are we brothers mm -hmm. are we are we really in to help each other if we are come on man let's tell each other the truth so when you say tell people the truth what I believe is the reason why people in this world are all getting and soft and being pussies and falling apart and being fucking victims is because no one is telling them the truth. <laughs> and, and what I've learned is that I, I tell people the truth in the beginning, they don't like me. Right. Okay, but then they go look in the mirror, they get over their pride, their ego, and their entitlement, and they realize that I'm fucking telling them the truth. Hey, hey, I don't want to be right, I just want to win. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have the same goal as me and you want to win, eventually at some point you're going to look in the mirror and say, hey, this guy was telling us the truth. So, you change. Yeah. And then they become my greatest fans because they're like, man, hey, dude, this is right, man. Right? Like, like, like everybody's been lying to me. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. We need more of the truth. That's all we need. So, so there's a guy that lives here locally. His name's Bradley, yeah. right? <clears throat> Three years ago when I started my business, I got close to him. Bradley goes, I'm going to give you the greatest advice ever. If you want to really stand out, if you want to really be different, if you want to be in this game long term, okay, be really who you are. Mm. Don't go fucking shoot content. You are the content. As you keep recreating, as you keep getting better, as you keep growing, that's the fucking content, okay? And by the way, he's like, be real careful about watching a lot of other people, mm -hmm. okay? Because you don't want to sound like them. You're, you're you, you're who you are, right. okay? I know nobody may not like you today. It's because you ain't really done nothing yet. Okay, and by the way, they need credibility. They need to see you get grow over time. You got to keep getting better, mm -hmm. and once you keep getting better, like it's exciting to see people that you can see in front of your face truly transform and grow. Because then I'm like, well, fuck, dude, if they did it, then I can do it. And by the way, who do you want to be around? People that have done it. Yeah. You know, anything that you want right now, what are you going to do? You're going to go find somebody that has been where you want to go, and that's who you're going to learn from. Mm -hmm. And that's why when you transform as being an influencer and you do greater, or in any area of life. It inspires everybody to want to do more. So I can tell the truth. My family is 350 to 500 pounds. They're, most of them are on their second stomach surgery. So when I talk about like, don't be fat, like I understand that shit. Okay, I'm a fat guy inside. I will eat boxes of pizza all day long. If I do, I know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hate myself. I'm going to be just like the rest of my family. And everybody who told me I wasn't going to fucking make it is exactly right. And I refuse 10 years from now for people to sit back when I fucking quit and I gave up and then fucking laugh at me and say, hey man, that guy got close, almost made it, you know. No yeah. ways, man. I'm going to burn their fucking eyes out with my winning. I'm going to burn their eyes out with changing the world. And I'm going to become something everybody else that I couldn't have. Mm. Dude, I'm telling you, that shit fuels me when people tell me I can't do shit. It fuels me. Hey, don't trigger me. <laughs> it fucking fuels me. And I put that shit in a bag. And I'm telling you, dude, when I feel tired and I don't want to get up or I haven't fucking slept in days or I'm building something great, dude, listen, I just take a little bit of that out of the bag, man. Yeah. And that shit fucking gets me back in the game. Because I'm going to fucking prove them wrong, dude. I'm not letting them fucking prove me wrong. I'm, I'm not going to let them win. I love that. Yeah, so, hey, everybody has an edge. you got to figure out what fuels you. 
okay mm -hmm. you know and, and that's what fuels me man yeah. sounds like you've really figured out your why your purpose well i know me see most people don't know themselves like you're good at talking to everybody else but a lot of people really don't spend time on themselves every morning for an hour and a half i go to the gym wow. i can work on me i work on my mental health I know this is a reason why a lot of people are mentally broke. If you drive around, you look in cars, everybody's on their phone. Mm -hmm. Everybody's watching social media, they're on a podcast, they're trying to figure out who they are. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. I work on me for an hour and a half every morning. I fucking know my darkness, I know my weakness, I know my points, and my mental toughness gets strong because I work on me in the gym. And then when I leave, I bring good shit to my family. I bring good shit to my clients, my customers, myself. I'm in a better mood all day long. Mm -hmm. I know who I want to be, and I have to reset every fucking day. So I, I, uh, I, I know what my why is. I know what my purpose is. I want to change people's lives. Um, I'm a, uh, I want to be the best at whatever I do, right? Um, I work from a state of madness. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to give my family a lifestyle I never had. Mm -hmm. um, also, man, like, uh, you know, it's like, I, I want to fucking win, man. I'm, I'm sick of fucking losing. <laughs> I don't want to lose anymore. Yeah. Um, and I want to. I'm I'm ready to die. Like at any point in time, whether I live a long time or now, whenever I die, I don't I don't want any fucking regrets. Not in any area of my life. So I'm just like, dude. Like, let's go hard, right? So I said, go to bed tired, right? Wake up fucking starving. Mm -hmm. If you don't go to bed, if I, dude, the second I lay down, I'm out. I'm out like a light. I, I've grinded so hard. My eyes are bloodstained because, dude, I've literally, and people say, well, that's not healthy. Hey, dude, I'm pretty fucking healthy, okay? <laughs> yeah. But my point is, is that when you start maxing in, I mean, why did God make us to be able to even do this? You know what's unhealthy? It's fucking living to the end of your life, right? Being comfortable, being put in a corner, being fed three times a day, had no fucking problems, and then sitting on a, a bedpan saying, saying, I wish I fucking would have. I wish I could, man, f that, dude. I'd rather live another 10 years, go hard as hell, and be a legend in my family, change as many people's lives as I can. My life actually counted. Dude, imagine this if your life didn't count. You just showed up, you did it, and it's over. No ways, man. Live a life that fucking counts. Mm -hmm. It's not about how long you live. It's about if you really lived. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. So, hey, I'm telling you, dude, my eyes are bloodstained. I mean, one time my wife's like, hey, get these Lumify drugs. I'm like, dude, they don't work. <laughs> I am, and by the way, you know what it is? I'm chasing a dream. Mm. I'm chasing a dream. You know what my dream is? Is that if I can do it, so can everyone else. So I'm just going to fucking keep chasing all these people down, and we're going to call our own shots. We're not going to be crowd pleasers. We're not going to kiss anybody's ass. And, dude, we're going to create our own fucking life. Mm. And anybody that don't like it, fuck them. Look, I don't hate you. One day you're going to come around. One day. All of our haters end up being our biggest fans at some point. Right. Okay? They all do, man. So that's why I would tell you that if you really have a good heart, two things. Have great intentions and have a great heart. And if you have a great heart, by the way, I want to tell you something. If I tell you the truth and I don't have a good heart, like you know I don't have a good heart. Like I'm telling you because I'm being a good man. You're fat, man. Mm -hmm. No, listen to me. Dude, your children are watching you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, dude, like, if you don't get healthy, your kids aren't going to be healthy. And I know that sucks, but I know that your kids are the most important thing to you in your life. So let's be a good example, okay? Right. Dude, if one of your kids got diabetes when they were older because their parents let them eat whatever they want, how would you feel? Let's make a change now. Okay, like, that's the truth. And you know my heart's in it, and I got good intentions because mm -hmm. I care about your family. That's why I'll tell you, if you got good intentions and you got a great heart, you can be this leader that can tell people the truth. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a key though, because you got to, you've got to know that people have good intentions. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that's why some salespeople get sort of a negative stigma, right? Well, if you got commission breath, and you're just walking around trying to make money, nobody <laughs> fucking likes you. Commission breath. I'm not yeah. Of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like that's a lot of salespeople, man. They're like, Andy, I want to learn the script. I'm like, no, go to the gym. <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, and they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, go to the gym, bro. Like, like, go work on yourself. Yeah. Go work on your heart. Go work out your problems and then memorize the script at night. And you're gonna become a better person, you're gonna love yourself more, and you're gonna give your customers more love. Mm. Do like, listen, like this, there is like an unspoken fucking part of life that people just don't wanna talk about because they get so much hate. But dude, this is the shit that people are missing, and this is why so many people are just going through fucking life, they're depressed, and even if you make it to money, if you do, you're gonna be miserable. Mm. 
And that's why I told you, like, I meet a lot of people that are really famous right now. Yeah. And when I meet them, I don't want to meet, I, I almost regret meeting them. Wow. No, because I see the way they treat their wives. I see the way that they operate. Um, so tonight we're flying to St. Louis. Yeah. Okay. We're going to uh, Andy Frazella's house to eat dinner tomorrow, hang out at his headquarters in St. Louis. And Andy Frazella is somebody that we really look up to in our company. He speaks the truth. He's my age. You know, I love Andy Frizzell. He says, hey, man, I was a fat fucking piece of shit. And you know what? I fucking changed. Mm -hmm. You know what? He talks the truth. He owns his shit. Everything that he does, he, he takes care of his wife. He's a good businessman. He loves his people. He doesn't talk about just changing people's lives. He talks about also changing the people that work for him, their lives. Mm -hmm. He wants everybody to get it all. And he's a great leader. You can tell that he's burdened with fucking problems that eats him alive um, whenever people aren't where they want to be. He gives a about his country he gives a shit, dude like like i love that shit, man i love people that are that are they're fighting for a fucking cause and the cause is he wants motherfuckers to stand up be great individuals be examples be the leaders for other people which is how we're going to really even make any change it's not in politics man it's in fucking people i swear dude the influencers run the fucking realm so that's why like you got to start caring about people more and if you do that along the way you will have enough money. That will never be a problem, okay? You won't even have to think about where the fund's gonna come from. They just, because you'll have an army of people running with you. But dude, the amount of lives that you'll be able to change, holy shit. So like, just give an example. Like, so we're gonna fly out, we go to Andy Frazella's. Anybody that we wanna, that we have looked up to, I wanna get as close to, but I've gotten close to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And, or I've wanted to anyways. It's like, oh yeah, we wanna get close to that guy. And then I'm like, I don't wanna be anything like this guy. And so that's why I think, you know, like you guys need to understand, like everybody needs to find who they look up to yeah. and you need to self-develop so fast, create your own identity, get, stay, always stay super healthy and in great shape. Keep learning. Like if it's marketing, dude, I couldn't even get on an, I, I didn't even know how to make a video, right? It, that was three years ago. And like I said, we get 150 million views every 28 days on social media. Okay. Dude, like you can fucking learn. Okay. Yeah. Like I, and by the way, always be willing to know that somebody can teach you something. Mm. Okay, that's the biggest thing. Most people aren't open-minded any anymore to doing things a different way. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like, it's like you came up, you watched this program, you watched this, you learned from this guy, and now that's how you're programmed. Bro, you better be open-minded, man. Yeah. If you got a fixed mindset, you're fucked, and you're gonna get dusted by somebody like me or like someone else yeah, yeah. who's like, dude, I'm totally cool with changing the game at any point. Okay, now it doesn't mean my core values change. It means that technology is evolving, evolving, things are changing, things are changing. Like we've got to be up every day and know that today we could make a, a change and pivot. Mm -hmm. My whole company is ready to change at any moment. I could walk into a meeting right now, say, guys, we're completely changing. Everybody's like, boom, what is it? Let's go. They're ready to change now. But most companies you walk into the change, you're like, oh, here's another change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like the leader sets the tone for all the people. But, um, but anyways, but, but that's what I would tell you is that like, dude, it's just, it's, it's never been easier to be great right now. We're in the era of the biggest amateur in the history of time from business owner to influencer to salesperson to leader. Yeah. So like, if you want to mark your stake, like do it fucking now. And the deal is I want you to know everybody you look up to, they're going to fuck up. Mm. Just know this. They're gonna fuck up, they're not perfect, they make mistakes all the time, and they're normal people. Lean into that shit, and when they fuck up, be like, yes, I knew you were human, dude, I love that <laughs> shit. But guess what, watch them own their shit, say, hey guys, I fucked up, that's my bad, man. Yeah, you're very okay. open with your, your fuck ups, your mistakes. Dude, if you're not, you're fake. Yeah. Dude, I don't want people to think I'm hiding something. Dude, li listen, somebody says, hey Andy, I heard that this happened. I'm like, bro, it was way worse than that. <laughs> okay, they fucking told you like 10% of what happened. It was really way worse. <laughs> but the point is, is I changed. Like I'm not that fucking dude anymore, man. Like, right. like you're not talking to that guy. Like that guy, we wouldn't even be talking if that guy still existed. Mm -hmm. So my point is, is that I recreated, I changed, okay, recreation. And I became a different person. The old is gone, the new is here. It's biblical. However you feel, I'm a different man. I got a different heart. I've got a different perspective. I've got different eyes. I've got different intentions. And by the way, you said something about salespeople earlier. I was talking about commission breath. A salesperson intentions will decide whether he's a good salesman or a bad one. Mm. Okay? So I just want to tell you, like, intentions are everything to me. Okay? And that's why I'm just saying, like, dude, like, it's, it's, just, it's just easy to win right now, man. Yeah. Okay, like think about, write down on a piece of paper, like everything that you think that your hero would be, and then just become that. Mm -hmm. And they do, listen, right now the world's thirsty for leaders. Families are thirsty for leaders. 
Businesses are thirsty for leaders. The world is thirsty for leaders. So if you want to build something great, okay, it's not how cool you are. It's about how great of a leader you are. Love that. It's not about how much money you have. People say, oh, I got $100 million in a private jet. Don't give a fuck. Do I want to be like you? That's all I know. Like, do I want to live like you? Do I like your perspective? Do I like the way that you see things? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, need, I need to find people that have a good perspective on life. Yeah. And then I want to steal that. You know, and I want to become that. You know what I mean? And so anyway, so that's who I that's who I search. That's why me and Bradley are so close. Bradley has one of the greatest perspectives of all. You know, I'll sit there with him. We're, we're always, I'm going on vacation with him next week for 10 more days. Like him, my family, all our kids are best friends. We all run together. But we we'll be sitting there, dude. We, we never talk about money. We never talk about nothing. He's just wow. like, dude, he's like, dude, if I wake up tomorrow and my kids are alive, what a fucking life, man. Mm. My kids are healthy. What a life. He's like, dude, we're so fucking lucky, man. He's just always reminding, even me, but and himself, like how lucky we are. Gratitude. Yeah, dude, he's so fucking grateful, man. Mm -hmm. Which is why everything that he goes into, like if you're, in a, uh, 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 if he can smell that your intentions are bad, or you're, he's like, Fuck you, dude, I don't need your money. I've watched. Bro, I had a guy try to make a deal one time. Now, I'll give you two experiences. This is why you got to stand on your own. A guy tried to make a hundred million dollar deal with Brad, which would have been very easy. Brad wouldn't do very much. Brad didn't believe. Okay, in his the way that he ran, and Brad's like, "Fuck that, not worth the money. Doesn't matter. No, because I'm not gonna tie my name to that, right. right? So I don't need the fucking money. So you need to understand this. Like, you be careful trying to make decisions off people with money. Turn down money decisions all the time. Do business with people that are like who you want to run with. Right. And then I was at an event one time, right? And Brad hates it when people fucking lie. Like, if you lie to him one time, so we have a rule in our company. If you ask my team, I tell them, if I lie to you one time, pack your shit and get up out of here. Because wow. it's you don't need to be with me no more. Because I'm a fucking piece of shit because I'm a liar. Yeah. So I hold myself accountable by telling them that if I lie, you leave. So now I know I can never lie to them. It, it's a great accountability tool. Yeah. But me and Brad are in Miami. Um, he, we're doing this event. And there's this, you know, this rebook at the end, which is where like at the end, it's like, hey, guys, I got this mastermind. It's $50,000 if you guys want to join. You know, there's a couple thousand people. You know, 20 or 30 of them will raise their hand, makes a million and a half, and they do this mastermind, right? right. And we're in the elevator and with, with the guy that was holding the event. And we'll say his name, but the guy, he said something. Mm. And Brad goes, that's not the fucking truth, man. He said that out loud? Yeah. And the guy goes, oh, yeah, well, Brad, will you know? And Brad's like, oh, man, fuck. So it's at the end of the event. We just finished speaking. We just finished talking. And Brad is supposed to go up and do the, the, the rebook. We yeah. call it a rebook or, you know, resell the crowd on the next deal. And Brad got up there, and I love this, man. And then after this, I was like, dude, that's my leader. <laughs> like this, he goes, he goes, guys, uh, I'm to a point now where I'm supposed to talk to you guys about Mastermind that I'm going to be doing with you. But uh, you guys all have flyers in your hands. You see it? I'm not doing it. I love you guys. Thank you for being here at the event. If you buy that package, I won't be there. I want to tell all you guys, I'm grateful. I appreciate you. Um, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. If you guys want to sign up, just know that I won't be there. I love you. So over money, doesn't matter. He's very clear because I love you guys. I will not be there, but, but thank you for being here. You know, we only have so many heartbeats in life. You guys have given me yours. I gave you mine today. Thank you. I want you to go home, have a better life, recreate yourself, take your family and your business to another level. Have a blessed day. And he walked off and I go, man, that's what I'm fucking talking about. A guy that can finally stand up for what's right. And I saw that and I go, dude, now I'm really leaning into the truth. Now I know I'm not afraid to lose my business. I'm not afraid to lose anything. What I'm afraid of is being a fraud. Mm. Okay. And listen, dude, you don't ever want to be a fraud. Okay. Like I'll go broke telling the truth before I become a fraud. So anyways, and the cool thing is I've done some crazy shit. So I know the difference between right and wrong. And I've made a lot of mistakes. Everybody always goes, dude, you're a great leader. Who is your great leader? Dude, I didn't have one. Mm. You know what I did? I did everything wrong and I had a lot of bad leaders. So I just reverse engineered it. What should have gone down here? How should I have treated them? What should I have done? It was all reverse of how we were doing it because I had the worst leaders ever. And anyways, that's how I figure shit out. And you know, like you're the younger generation. So you guys figure stuff out the same way. Yep. Okay. It's common sense, <laughs> right? Common sense. If you don't go to the gym, right? You're not going to get in shape. If you go to the gym one time, you're not going to get in shape. You got to go to the gym a lot. Repetition's the mother of skill. You got to do it more if you want to get good at something. Okay. You're doing podcasts right now. You do fucking 20 of them. You're not going to be very good. Once you do 200, you start to get pretty fucking good. When you do 2000, you're the best in the country. Joe Rogan. 
yeah, you're Joe Rogan, man. It's like that's that's the game. Yeah. It's just more, 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 more. But you got to stay obsessed along the way, and you got to be geeked out. And what's the value of the podcast? To bring value to the people on the other side of the camera that are trying to get to where you want to go or trying to get to another level. And you're hoping that one piece of information, one piece of value, um, could 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 take them there. Yeah, it's never about me, and that's where I think a lot of podcasters mess up, right? It's mm -hmm. about giving value to the viewers. That's people, it. People man. try to make it about themselves. Yeah, there's someone on the other side of that camera, which is why it makes it so easy to do this. Because when we decide to talk about openly how we live life, we know there's a hole, there's a, there's a, there's a gap on the other side of that camera in someone's life. And dude, a podcast can change everybody's life. I mean, you can walk into a seminar and leave differently. You can turn on a podcast and you can turn it off differently. Dude, I know people that have watched a podcast 2,000 times in a row. I mean, it's just been like, dude, like I have to watch this again. Like I, I, like, like I watched it, I heard it, but I need to understand like what's going down. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna watch it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I've watched some things before literally 2,000 times. There's this thing, it says you can read a book, right? 100 pages one time, or you can read one page 100 times. Some people need to stop right now and read one page 100 times wow. until they understand it. Because dude, if you don't understand it, you're not gonna change. Yeah. You know, so I'm just obsessed with once I find something I like, I, I, I believe in total immersion, which means I just immerse deep into it. Yeah, man, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with you because when I see your content on social media giving sales training, I just assumed you were all about money. Yeah, no. There's a total different side. Yeah, yeah, dude, money is a byproduct of who you are, okay? Remember, if you're broke, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you make money, like, it'll magnify who you are. I was a great broke guy. I loved people when I was broke. I gave a fuck about people when I was broke. Now, I wasn't very educated, which is why I told you the greatest advice I'll ever give you is to out self-develop everybody. Because that's how I did it. Everybody slowed down. The, the, the last three years, how we built a nine-figure business and how we'll create a billion dollar business is because I don't slow down. I don't slow down. I, if you have a mountain right now, everybody needs to write down what they want. Okay, well, you're gonna get that. So what's, what's the next mountain? Dude, I know my next nine, nine mountains. I know my next nine mountains. Okay, like I'm running over mountains as fast as I can to get to that next mountain. I know what I want. And by the way, time's running out. You know, Tim Grover, we just, uh, he was at our place, did an event with us about a week ago. And he goes, dude, I kept telling Kobe Bryant every day we're running out of time. Wow. He goes, and I wish I was wrong. He goes, I wish I was fucking wrong. It's just the truth, man. You don't have as much time as you think you have. So if you really want to do something great, Wake the fuck up, mm -hmm. okay? Most people are underestimating, underestimating the amount of effort that it's gonna take to get the life they want. And that's why we beat everybody. Yeah. So I'm here to tell people the truth that, dude, it's gonna take you 10 times more than you think it's gonna take. For sure. At least. And you gotta be around the right people in proximity, dude, because if you're not, you're fucked, yeah. okay? Like, we don't run with anybody we don't wanna be around. Dude, I don't hang out with people who I don't wanna run with. I'm very careful about what I, what I do. Like, dude, like everything is like, it's so well planned, but also we have a crazy life. You know what I mean? And, and by the way, hey, I'm still that freaking 18 year old lost kid. I'm still that guy. When I, when I see people, they're like, hey Andy, I see people are like, hey Andy, sign this. Or, you know, hey, look, can we shoot a video? Yeah, let's go, let's shoot a video. Let's do everything. I remember one time I looked up to somebody and I'm gonna go back about two years ago when I met him, I was like, dude, you changed my life. Cause it was the truth. I said, dude, you changed my life. He's yeah. like, oh, cool man, hey, have a blessed day. <laughs> and I was just like, man, you know, like, I get that, right? Like, people, you know, like, I, but, like, I was like, dude, like, when someone says they change your life, like, stop for a fucking minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like, I, but, but I'm busy. I gotta go. I know, bro, but why did you start this? To change people's lives? See, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you something, and if we run out of time, that's totally cool, but I'm gonna tell you this. After an event, when I speak, I stay for four or five hours, and I talk to everybody and take pictures. Wow. You know why? Because the way I felt when I told that guy it changed my life, and then he said, oh, cool, man. I was like, I don't ever want anybody to feel that. Right. If somebody's at home right now consuming your content, and they're watching it, and they believe in everything you're saying, and they've changed their life, if someone ever walks up to you and goes, dude, you changed my life, stop. What's your name? Andy? Nice to fucking meet you, man. Mm. Hey, number one, I'm proud of you for doing the work. Number two, I want you to keep going hard, okay? I'm proud of you, I appreciate it. Let me borrow your camera, let's take a picture. Let's not forget today, okay? Go back at it, brother, see you soon. Wow. 10 more seconds, man. 
10 more seconds, you just put that guy on another fucking journey. Mm -hmm. Or, hey man, cool, appreciate it. 10 more seconds, now that guy doesn't wanna roll with you no more. Yeah. Okay, and that's how I felt. And hey, by the way, you may say, come on man, get over it. No, dude, listen to me. <laughs> Being a leader is a privilege, okay? So when somebody says that you changed my life, I just don't take it lightly, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, Fuck yeah, dude. And hey, by the way, look, dude, whether I change one or 20 million, all I wanna do is change people's lives. Mm -hmm. So if somebody tells you it next time, just give them, 10, give them 10 seconds. Hey, I love you, bro. Give me your phone. Let's take a picture. Let's not forget today. Stay at it. Thank you. And I love you. Yeah. Go hard. Go harder. Okay? We'll see each other, we'll see each other soon. Yeah. You never know where that'll take you. That could be the motherfucker that grows your company. He might be the next guy working for you. you never know. Dude, yeah. you don't know, man. So, so it's important that you slow down a little bit because if you want to build a great business, you're going to need people. Yep. Okay? And if you were to hire somebody right now, what kind of people do you want? people that fucking love your mission, love your vision. That guy's probably the perfect guy to hire. Mm -hmm. But we don't think like that. Yeah, and that guy two years ago that did that to you, you're gonna surpass him one day. Oh yeah, dude, and, and that's the goal. Our goal, honestly, as we do this, is to have people surpass us, massively. Your employees or Everybody, watching? everybody, dude. Wow. You don't care that your employees do better? Fuck no. Dude, are you kidding me? Listen, at the end of the day, dude, do you want your people to have a great life? Why are you a leader? So you can stay on top? Bro, but I will tell you something. My team knows I self-develop so fast and so hard that they'll have to chase me until they die. <laughs> now, with that being said, I do want them to pass me. Why would I not? So if they leave the company, start their own. Well, watch this. Why would you leave? Number one, let's, let's go back on a thing. Most people don't pay their people a lot of money. Right. Okay? I pay my people a lot of money. Why? Because I want my people to always have a good life and stay with me forever. Mm. Okay, if I paid you a lot of money, four out of five millionaires work for someone else. Really? Bro, like you don't have to be a f Dude, when you, there's entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs get sued, okay? They get sued all the time. Yeah. They pay all the bills, all the expenses. Dude, I've got a compound, it's a 70,000 square foot compound. I've got 16 places. I've got 16 little different buildings. Each one of those AC units run 1,500 bucks each. So 16, 800. The parking lot to, to take care of it, that's another 20,000. The building, the energy. Dude, by the time y'all look at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars they're going to, I pay out you know 30% commission to my guys, which wow. is higher than that's anybody. The I've ever heard. Everybody pays 10%. I pay them reoccurring. Which I'll tell openly, I, my guys, if they make it on my team, they're going to get rich. Yeah. And they're going to get great, and they're going to be taken care of. Also, another deal is, I want them to get fucking rich with me. I want them to raise their families with me. I want to see them have their kids. Mm -hmm. I want to see them get married and be great husbands or wives. I want to see them grow with our company. I want to be with them forever. Most, most owners are going to sleep right now, and they're afraid somebody's going to recruit one of their guys. Right. Dude, my guys can make money, just as much money as owning their own business, okay? And they don't have to worry about all this shit. Dude, when you're, when you're an owner, you pay 30%, plus you're paying 40% in taxes, mm -hmm. okay? Plus you pay fucking payroll taxes on top of the 30% that you paid them. At the end of the day, you're lucky to keep 15, 20%, but it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. By the way, I want to tell you something. If I could go back to 2019, okay? And I'm in the room with one of my guys, and his name's Danny, but he owned the company and he owned the Elliott Group, and I saw him have this company, I would happily go work for him and not own a company, get paid my 30%, change people's lives, build a badass business inside of his company, because the way our company runs, I'm not the owner, we are the owners. Mm. We run this shit. this is our company, wow. okay? We wear shirts that say Elliott, Elliott isn't our company. It is, but it's a movement. Mm -hmm. We are a fucking movement. We are on a mission, okay? I mean, it's a whole different deal, man. Yeah. And, and, and I intentionally built it this way to be completely different, so. Um, but, but. Is it true you built a gym in the office? Yeah, we got a massive <laughs> gym. We're building another gym right now. Um, awesome. Our team works out from like, or we work from like eight to noon, and then from noon to one, everybody stops, goes and works out. They also have their own gyms close to their house. But we have a gym at the place. Dude, if you're making some calls, man, and you're like, bro, I just gotta go get my head right for a minute. You can go down there for 30 minutes, work your off, take your shirt off. Most of the time when you come to our company, I mean, a lot of the times, like I'll go on stage, we're wearing nice clothes, you know, we're wearing a suit, our guys are dressed nice. I mean, yeah. we're ready. But you come in our office, man, we got our shirts off, man. We're really? grinding, we're all working. Dude, it's a brotherhood. <laughs> no, for real. Like, dude, like, 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 this is our life. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. Like, dude, do you have to be like anyone else? What do you mean? Like, you don't have to be like anyone else, do you? No. You can be whoever the fuck you want to be. Yeah. If you can remember what you just said, just be myself. Hey, now listen, I'm not cool with this shit. People are like, well, all this masculinity and all this stuff, I mean, just be yourself. Man, fuck you, dude. 
you're you're weak. No, be yourself as in like, look, dude, if you're gonna do something big, like it's okay to break the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's okay to have an edge. It's okay to be different, man. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's okay, dude. Like I'm not trying to fing impress anybody. If I am who I really need to be, you will be fing impressed. I love that. It's super impressive to watch somebody be obsessed about changing and, and recreating and becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. And when you're around these people, it's infectious. You don't want them to leave. You're like, okay, stay around a little bit longer, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you being around rubs off on me and I like that shit. For sure. You I know? can tell because your employees rubbed it off on me. That's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, and by the way, so that's a good thing for you because you're going to need to grow and build your team. And when you do that, you're going to want your team to be just like my team. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means whatever your core beliefs are, if you're a great leader, they'll be doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And by the way, listen to me. People say, well, y'all are a cult. No, we're doing what's right. We're doing what's right, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like you got one fucking life and most people take it for granted. Yep. We don't. And we're limitless. This universe will give you whatever the fuck you want, whatever you want. It doesn't matter, okay? Are you around the right people to get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you putting yourself in proximity to people that believe that same belief? Dude, I'm telling you, there's just so many secret things, but if, if, if you just take this one video, right, like everything we talked about, like this would be like how to change your life forever, yeah. right? Like how to totally recreate your life. And now you just have to do the work mm -hmm. because if you have a vision, if, if you have an imagination of what you want, but you don't execute, no one will know your fucking name. Absolutely. You know. Strike me as uh, I know you mentioned mental health earlier. I can't ever picture you having anxiety or depression, but is that something you struggled with? No, dude. I was dead. I was making money. I was numb. Me and my wife had sex once a week, right? Which is normal to normal people, because right. I was a normal dad. I was doing better than most. I had a better marriage than most. I wasn't fat. Wasn't in shape either. What a fucking sick ass life. I was dead. You know what I did? I fucking woke up. And when my wife said, Hey, Andy, we've learned to live without you, I looked in the fucking mirror and I realized I had mediocrity crawling all over me. Mm. I had pride, ego, and entitlement. I didn't have the growth mindset. I quit fucking changing. And at some point, my wife married me, one man, and she never married a new man again which if I was continuing to change, she would have married a new man every day because I would have kept getting fucking better. But you know what? She married me thinking she was gonna get some great life. Nah, dude, I just fucking settled down. So when I woke up, I said, oh, this is, it's fucking on. I went in the garage, shaved my head, started working out, started getting fucking serious. I started deciding what I was gonna do. I decided to raise my standards, which is what this whole podcast is about, is raising your standards. And I went to fucking war on me, on my mind, on my body, and I went to war for my family. And dude, literally when that happened, everything changed. Never underestimate how fast you can change your life when you wake up and get fucking serious, okay? So, I, I didn't have anxiety, okay? I was just a fucking loser. I wasn't doing anything great. I wouldn't change anybody's life. I wasn't inspiring fucking anybody. Nobody was better because of me. I was taking care of me. I was very selfish, okay? Well, I changed all that shit. And dude, now I'm fucking more fulfilled than I know what to do with. I have more purpose flowing through my veins than ever. I'm ready to die now. Wow. Now I feel good. Now I'm like, Fuck yeah. Now I'm finally doing something that I feel like God wanted me to do. Now I finally am doing. Now this is, it's like living a life of a ministry. We're just changing people's lives. Now you don't need to be in a church to change people's lives. Okay? You just do it everywhere you go, everyone you talk to in the gas station. You fucking change their life, man. Mm -hmm. When people come across you, they're like, Shit, man, <laughs> that person's living. Like, dude, I want to go be better to my family now, just running across that cat in the gas station. Yeah. You know? So, so I know I don't struggle with any of that. And I'm going to tell you this if anybody wants to kill all depression, all anxiety, and all problems in their life, okay? Two things. Number one, self fucking develop. Number two, get your ass in the fucking gym. Put your phone down, grind, work out hard for an hour and a half. And when you come out of there, you will feel amazing. You might not feel good going in, but when you come out, you'll feel amazing. Yeah. Put your phone down. The key is, is put your phone down. And I want to give everybody one last thing. Be present. That means wherever you are, like I'm with you right now. Wouldn't it be weird if I was on my phone and we're talking? I'm like, yeah. There's been guests that have done that. Yeah, it's weird. I would fucking slap the shit out of somebody. <laughs> if, if we went to dinner, right, and, and you had your phone on the table. Yeah. I'd get up and leave. Really? Yeah, because why the fuck did you bring me to dinner, bro? Like, why, like I thought we were going like, are you wanting to talk to me? Yeah, yeah. Are we going to do some shit? Are we going to hang out? Are we going to get to know each other? Or are you going to fuck around on your phone? <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, can you be present here? Like, did we really go to dinner from 7 to 8 o'clock? 
so that we could be together, like we could fucking hang out? Like how sad is it that a lot of people are taking their girls out to dinner and the whole time they're on their fucking phones? Just go look around next time you're eating mm -hmm. and be like, this is fucked up, man. Every table. Yeah, so now me and my wife, we have sex twice a day. Wow. We're on fucking fire, I'm, I'm a different person. And by the way, here's what I'll tell you. I changed everything. So guess who changed? My wife. Mm. Now my wife's a fucking savage. She went from being a fucking housewife to, to literally one of the greatest. She's a CEO of our company. She runs everything. She's a fucking killer. She can do fucking 100 push ups in a row. She can do wow. 25 strict pull ups. Bro, she followed me. She went with me. I took her with me. Our kids now, they're badasses. We treat them like entrepreneurs. They're fucking savages. I asked my kids, I'm like, do you want me to treat you like a little kid? You know, like a two, three, four, five year old? Yeah, and, and, make, and, and, and feed you ice cream like a little kid? Yeah. Or do you want me to kid, give you the cold, hard truth and treat you like the bad ASS? Me and mom know you are. At five? Yeah, five, 10, 15, whatever. I'm, that's how we've been talking to them their whole life wow. since we've changed. And my kid's like, no, treat, it, treat me like a bad ASS, mom. Treat me like a bad ASS, dad. Yeah, like, like I want you to treat me like I'm a leader because I am one, hmm. okay? Like, like our kids get serious, man. Listen, yesterday, we're at an event right now, so we came over here with you, and I want to tell you something. My son yesterday, he goes, Dad, what can I sell at this event? What can I sell? And I'm like, um, okay, we got a $600. It's a low-ticket little deal over here for a fitness package. Yeah. I said, uh, why don't you go sell this 90-day total recreation fitness package? What, what, what percentage commission do I get paid? <laughs> hey, are you going to pay me today, Dad? Sure. I'm like, come on, son. If you sell four today, I'll pay you today. But if not, we're going to pay you on the 15th like everybody else gets paid. Yeah. He's like, dude, I'm going to sell 10 of these. <laughs> dude, my kid's running around, right, with this, this post board card of one of the, with the guys in our fitness program. Mm -hmm. Fucking shredded, jacked up. So he's walking up to girls and guys. He's like, what's going on? My name's Ian Elliott. My dad's Andy Elliott. I just want to come over here. Hey, let me ask you this. Would you like your man to look like this? <laughs> And seriously, am I right? Sad. And and they're and they're like, uh, she's like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, okay, listen, he can. All you got to do right here is scan this, and you can buy this now. In the next time, ninety days, we're gonna totally recreate his body. Okay. Now listen, your girl just said you want it. So if you're a good man, you're gonna give her what she wants, right? Wow. Yep. Okay. Cool. And by the way, since he's gonna level up and go to the next level, don't you think it'd be cool if he had you support him? Mm. Okay. Let's go ahead and scan both these for both of you. One. Dude. Boom. Boom. My kid hit his ten. He's running around, bro. I'm watching him sell, man. I, I took my, uh, my my lav off me, and I go, hey, man, put this on my kid. Go. <laughs> my camera lady, she followed my camera. She followed him around. Yeah. Dude, he's hustling people. He ain't scared of nothing, man. Dude, he knows who he is. He knows what he's selling is real. He, he believes in health. He believes in fitness. He's 13 years old, and he's shutting everybody down. Yeah. So anyways, I just want to tell you, man, like, hey, Life is whatever you make it, dude. And by the way, at the end of the day, if you don't have the life you want right now, wake the f up. I'd probably watch this podcast 50 times mm -hmm. until you understand it and until it pisses you off. I call it controlled anger. Get fucking pissed off. Go look in the mirror. Everything in your life right now that's not going right, it is your fault, but you're the problem. You're also the solution. Yeah. Okay? So be a real leader. Own your shit. Don't give away the fucking problem. Own it. Say, no, 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 man. I got this one. That's my. That's on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I haven't been making good choices. I'm eating cheeseburgers. I'm not eating grilled chicken. Okay. I'm up at night watching Netflix. I'm not doing the training. I'm not watching self-developing. I'm spending my money at the mall. I'm not self-investing in myself. I'm not betting on me. If you're broke, go take the last couple hundred dollars in your account and go invest it in self-development. Mm -hmm. I promise you, you have a thousand percent ROI on yourself. Absolutely. That's it. Andy, I'm super fired up. Great episode. I'm going to implement some of the changes. I'm going to stop using my phone at the dinner table. I agree with that one for sure. Yeah. Um, These little things too, they make a big difference, man. Yeah, the people that are around you when they see you present, they respect you so much more, man. Because mm -hmm. it means a lot to them to know that you're really there. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, man, it's been, a, it's been a great episode. Anything you want to close off with our promote? No, I would just say, dude, listen, hey, if somebody does, and I've talked about fitness a lot, I don't want to sell anybody any coaching, but if somebody does want, I have a badass fitness program. It is called the 90-Day Total Recreation, okay? I believe fitness is the foundation to everything. I believe in physical, mental business, like physical, like physically getting fit. Then you're mentally tough, then you're going to kill it in business. That's what I believe, okay? It worked for me. It works for all of our people. But I have a 90-day total recreation package. It's like 500 bucks. And for the next three months, we'll go on a journey with you, what to eat, how you work out and everything. And in 90 days, we'll transform your life. The guy that runs it for me, because I'm not the trainer, okay? He trains me, but the guy that, that runs it for me, he trained The Rock. 
He trained Zach Efron. Wow. He's a savage. He lives with me in Scottsdale, Arizona. He's a savage. My fitness division is crazy, but they can text. There's a number, 918. It's our fitness number, 918-210-0254. If they want to get in great shape and you're like, you know what? Dude, I'll fucking bet 500 bucks on me. I'll go in for 90 days. I want to do this total recreation mentally, get my physical life right, and then that'll catapult me in business and everything else that I'm doing. Let's just make people healthy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't want to tell nobody no coaching. I want to do nothing, but I would tell you that that 918-210-0254, if you have a question, text me. Cool. But if, if you want to really change, fitness is the key, and that will catapult you into all areas of life. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.